بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاه والسلام على سيد المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين um, indeed one cannot help it but to reflect on what is happening uh, to our brothers and sisters in Palestine and more specifically about what's happening in Gaza and if anything would be said is the uh, hypocrisy of the international community leadership including our own Muslim Ummah leadership we're talking about two months plus of a war a brutal war that have exercised genocide against civilians in a heavily tense small ge geographical area uh, with people who have been living under siege for over 17 years and have been subjugated to slow death mechanism and now we're seeing this small geographical area those two point something million in the most tense dense uh, popu dense, densely populated area on earth being bombarded and a war being waged on it using the most sophisticated uh, weapons on earth the state of the art the civilians in gaza and i do mean it the civilians of gaza are being subjugated to war that is not uh, conducted by one of the most um, powerful, the most equipped uh, army on earth, the state of Israel, but it is also backed by the most powerful nation on earth, the government of the United States. And also some of the uh, uh, most powerful European countries like France and Germany and Britain. And this is a big shame first of all on the international community to flex their muscles on civilians who are barely able to survive and be able to provide the necessities of living for themselves and their children and on the top of that a big shame on the leadership of the muslim communities and countries around the globe for seeing their own brothers and sisters literally being slaughtered in front of their own eyes we're talking about countries surrounding gaza that only a few kilometers away from them if they were to allow people to walk through with large numbers they will be able to do something this is how pathetic the situation we're living in right now and this is what is the condition of the muslim ummah and i do mean when i start talking the leadership whether in the international community or whether on the muslim ummah because the grassroots the average people on earth including muslims and non-muslims have been outraged about what's happening just before coming one of the journalists was bombarded by the uh, the airplanes uh, of the israeli defense force knowing that this individual is a journalist he has all the necessities all the protections all the equipments uh, informing the israeli army that that this is a convoy of uh, of journalists journalists who are trying to cover what is happening on the ground when the israeli forces bombarded uh, as what's supposed to be a safe refuge uh, location that's operated by the united nation that even was not respected and was bombarded and when the journalists rushed to cover and see what is what happened to civilians in that part they themselves were bombarded and they were prevented from being reached out by the ambulances to rescue them and save them. and it's been going on for hours now and allah knows whether the cameraman who has been covering this would be recovering or will be going to allah as a shaheed that's that's how pathetic things have been and these are things that continue to happen and have happened for the past two months plus what are we supposed to be doing how we can deal with this and what is our responsibility as muslims or as an international community we say that in takunu ta'lamuna fa innahum ya'lamuna kama ta'lamun wa tarjuna min allah ma la yarjun because yuriduna an yutfi'u nur allah bi afwahihim wa ya'ba allah illa ayutim the israel defense force 
with the political system, corrupt apartheid regime system in Israel, is trying to silence, and I'm, by the way, I'm not using heavy loaded words. These are words that have been used by you know, officials, by the United Nations and former U.S. politicians, including a former U.S. president who have indicated clearly that Israel is an apartheid regime. So we should not be intimidated and allow the fear to creep to our hearts, but rather we should be standing and speaking the truth, regardless of what are the consequences would be, because whatever the consequences would be, would not be similar to what the parents of Gaza are seeing to their own children. This apartheid regime is trying to extinguish the nur of Allah Azza wa And Allah is saying to them, and to those who back them from the superpowers of the earth, the United States government, and I say again, government, not the average people. The Britain government, the British government, the, the France government, and the German government, and those who ally them and support them, we say to them clearly, you will never be able to win that war. Hear me clearly, because what Allah is saying to you in the Quran, يُرِدُ نَا يُطْفُ Allah. You'll never be able to do it. A person is standing on the ground and, and looking at the sun and the sky and trying to blow at the sun to extinguish it. We say to that person, you're crazy. What you're doing is nonsense. And we say to them, what you're doing is nonsense because the deen of Allah is going to reveal. لا ينصر وعد الله الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وعد الله الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات منكم لا يستخلفنهم في الأرض ولا يمكنن لهم دينهم الذي قضى لهم ولا يبدلنهم من بعد خوفهم أمنا يعبدونني لا يشكون بي شيئا ومن كفر بعد ذلك فأولئكم الفاسقون I said it clearly in Surah An-Nur to us that وعد الله الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات منكم لا يستخلفنهم في الأرض Allah will give you the upper hand as we have done it للمستضعفين من بني إسرائيل ونريد أن نمن على الذين استضعفوا في الأرض ونجعلهم الأئمة ونجعلهم الوارثين ونمكن لهم في الأرض ونري فرعون وهامان وجنودهما منهم ما كانوا يحذروا As Allah Azza wa Jal have given the upper hand to the mustadafin, to the weak of Bani Israel in the time of Pharaoh, Lanatullahi alayhi, when he was slaughtering them brutally, as we're seeing right now things happening in Gaza, we're saying to them, to Bani Israel, that whatever happened to your ancestors, the believers of your ancestors, will be happening to the Ghazans in Gaza because they believe in the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal. كما استخلف الذين من قبلهم ولا يمكنن لهم دينهم الذي ارتضى لهم. Your deen will be established. This is the deen of Allah. Allah has taken care of it. We're only tools and means. What we need to do is not to lose hope and not to allow the fear to creep to our hearts regardless of how dark and bleak the situation we're living in right now. إن تكونوا تألمون فإنهم يألمون كما تألمون بس we wish from Allah Azza two things. We're not saying to the people of Gaza, 17,000 plus or 18,000 have been raising shuhada to the mighty Allah Azza wa They did not die. They were not fallen, but rather they were raising to the mighty Allah Azza wa as shuhada. ونحسبهم كذلك ولا نزكي الله أحد وندعو الله أن نتقبلهم شهداء عنده فإنه على كل شيء قدير. We need to be empowered by our connection. آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات. We need to empower ourselves by being true believers in Allah عز وجل and doing the righteous things that would help us to be connected with our Deen. Do not allow a chance for you to be giving support to the Deen of Allah عز وجل to pass by you without engage in it. Whether it is sending an email. Or whether it is making a phone call or whether it is participating in a demonstration because this is part of your support to the deen of Allah جل, and to the empowerment of the mustadafina in the earth I said it in the past we have many uh, advocacy group within our community like NCCM National Council of Canadian Muslims justice for all uh, many other organization non-muslim organizations are standing right now for justice be part of their agenda and involve with them and support them 
hoping that Allah Azza will be giving you the excuse in the day of judgment, financial support and to support the humanitarian aids and support this advocacy work because they are doing a job for us to protect those who are being killed and to protect us as civilians living or as people, Muslims living as a minority in this part of the world. May Allah Azza wa Jalla have rahman us, Allahumma ameen al